I'm starting to get a bit nervous now. <laughs> I'm shaking. I was having a video chat with a friend earlier and we got talking about how I need to defrost my freezer this weekend and how I have a whole bag of frozen peas in there that I now need to eat. And neither of us are big fans of eating peas. So we thought, why not just use them for a science experiment? So that got me thinking about the bed of nails experiment. And that's where someone lays down on a bed of nails, but they're completely fine because that force is evenly distributed over all of the nails. So the nails don't pierce their skin. So I thought, why not do that experiment on a smaller scale, but instead of nails, use some peas. So here I have my bed of peas, and now I'm going to put books on them, and I'm gonna measure how much weight these peas can hold before they smush. I'm gonna be weighing these books every time I add them on. So I've got book number one, 169 grams. And so far, that seems to be holding. Okay, so book number two, 240 grams. So that's 409 grams in total. Book number three is 273 grams. So that's 682 grams in total. Book number four, 282 so that would put it at 964 grams total so a bit under a kilogram and book number five is 471 grams so this would take it to 1.4 kilograms all right that's holding book number six is 466 grams, so that would take it up to 1.9 kilograms. Book number seven is 618 grams, so this would take it up to 2.5 kilograms. And it's, it's squashing, so they're squashing down a little bit. Book number eight is 565, so this takes it over three kilograms, so 3.1 approximately kilograms. And it's still holding up, it still hasn't squashed. The peas are sort of squashing down, but they haven't quite broken yet. So the books are still off the ground. Get really nervous. All right, book number nine, 674. So this takes it to 3.7 kilograms. So I've got my laptop computer. Uh, that weighs 1,667 grams. So let's put that on there. This will take it up to 5.4 kilograms. All right, it's still holding, it's still holding. All right, so uh, I need a few more books. So I'm borrowing some of my housemates' ones. Uh, so this one seems quite heavy. So this is 1,320 grams. So this would take it up to 6.7 kilograms. Oh, again, the book at the bottom is sort of starting to bend a little bit, but it still hasn't squashed completely. Uh, so that's total 6.7 kilograms. So this book is 1,558. So that takes it up to 8.3 kilograms. All right, this book it's 1,536 grams. So this would take it up to 9.8 kilograms. And again, it's still holding, it's still holding. All right, let's try one more book that's gonna push it over the 10 kilogram mark. This is 1,540 five grams so this would push it up to 11.4 kilograms with this book i cannot it hasn't squashed so that is 11.4 kilograms of books and my computer on a bed of defrosted peas so i think i'm i might leave it at that for a bit so let's now have a look at those peas. So if we move those books. 
and we can see that while they're squashed, they've still managed to keep their shape. So if I was to just squeeze one of them, it would squeeze really easily. But because we're distributing that force evenly over all of these peas, they all stay in shape and they don't break. So that was 11.4 kilograms of weight on top of a bed of peas and they didn't squash. If you'd like more science from home videos, make sure to give me a follow and thank you so much for watching.